on the planet. Now this little bar is really helpful. When you first start off you'll probably see something like this. It's all pretty cool. You, you can't really find all the hotspots because it all looks the same. So what you need to do... Oh by the way, hot, in case you haven't guessed already, you probably have. The cooler colors mean it's less abundant. Warmer colors such as reds, yellows, and whites actually yellow, red, then white, I mean it's far more abundant in that area. So let's try and find us a really good spot uh, to put down our new command center. So what you need to do on this right here, this will change the scan a little bit. As you can see I'm sliding the bar to the left, I'm starting to find more. I generally try to get maybe not the most abundant but the largest area so I can put down some things pretty close to each other. It looks like this right here is the best spot on the planet for that. So let's see what we can find around here in terms of the non-CS crystals. There's nothing. I'm just going to go through these. Try and find something. Suspended plasma is over there, but we want to keep our supply lines short. Ah, that looks a lot better. So today we're going to get heavy metals and base metals. So to start off with, I'm going to put down my command center right about there. In order to put down your command center, you need to go back over to the Build tab, click on Command Centers, and select the command center that you own. I would recommend that you zoom in. This kind of gives you a bit more control over where you place it. Now that I have it set down on the planet, I need to click the Submit button, and now it's there. You can double click and zoom in, as so. Alright, so now you're probably wondering, okay, I have my command center now down, what do I do now? I, yeah, so we're going to go and get us, what are we scanning for now, heavy metals? Let's get put down since I put down a really good deal here we're gonna put down a couple of the heavy metal extractors. Extractors as you definitely guessed allow you to extract minerals and materials to produce the products. Now these will need to be linked back to my command center in a minute but we're gonna hold off on that for now. Let's re scan for those base metals that we that I was talking about before. Oh, look, somebody else is here. Now, and I'll show you how to ch hide their networks in a minute, but yeah. So base metals. We're going to get base metal extractor. Put down in two over here. Oh, well look at that. As with most things, there's a timer. Yippee. Now, like I was saying before, linking. Um, feeding into this, the command center is not... Okay, I'm just going to say something right now. If you're planning on doing the long duration things that you so you can come back every day and say, you know, get, you know, work it that way, don't do, don't feed it into your command center is a horrible idea as you will most certainly end up filling it up having your thing your extractors fill up and then you won't be able to do anything so first thing we're going to do is put down I'm going to put down two storage facilities and you'll see why I'll look another timer Da, 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 da. I'm getting impatient with this. <laughs> like wasting your time here. I'm sorry. So we have our storage facilities down. Now we're going to put down processors. The, the, you don't have to work it the way I'm doing it now. This is just the way I prefer to do it. It, it works pretty well. Um, so since we are mining two different we are well we're extracting two different things I want to call it mining so bad this is how I would do it 
put down two different processors. Because, okay, a processor is what allows you to uh, make those products. Now, a basic industry facility will allow you to make tier one or the, the lower level consumer products. After you get these done and you have the ingredient or the materials and components needed for the more advanced things, then you can open up an advanced industry facility. I'm just going to open one up real quick just for fun. Like, you know, why not? Um, and have a and build another storage facility next to it. Three, two, one, less than a second. Okay, there we go. Now that we have all this done, it looks like just a bunch of dots to you. It's really important that you link things. So let's figure out what's what here because I kind of forgot. That is our plasma storage facility. So what we're going to do... Okay, well, before I start doing this because I'm going to confuse you guys. A link is what allows you to transfer materials from one place to another and crea create routes to transport these things between your facilities in order to manufacture and get them out into space. So, now that we've done that, a link will take up CPU and power grid once you put it down. What I always do, I like to link my storage facilities to my extractors. So we do this from... Oh god, this is going to take forever. Um, I'm really hating this timer, guys. So from there, we go to this production, we're going to go to this industry facility. So we do this, and then take it back from the, the production facility into our uh, command center here. Now, if you want, now another thing I really recommend doing is creating a link between your just your storage facility and your uh, command center. That way, you if you don't want to produce something, you can export that material off planet and out somewhere else. Also, I will sh uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys about spaceports, launch pads. They do not get as much cargo capacity when they launch as your um, as your command center will, but what it, they do for you is that the cans that they deploy will have much more health, much more durability out in space. They will last longer, and they will be much uh, much harder to kill or destroy. A lot of people are a-holes in EVE, as we all know. I am not excluded from that. I've done some pretty mean things in my life. Mwahaha. So you put down that, and you have a far more secure way to export your goods. So, alright, so that's that. As long as you're in edit mode. So basically, as long as you're building and stuff, even after you've routed and surveyed and got everything extracting, it will not extra start the cycles until after you've exited the edit mode. So when you do this, you just need to go up and say submit. It'll close everything down. Well, it'll bring you out to where I am now, pretty much. And so make sure you hit submit after you're done with everything, and it'll start everything up. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd, let, I'd add that in. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, guys. Okay, so here we are. I have finished linking every last little thing, and I decided to add a few extractors for the sake of time. And I figured it all worked because, well, I have so much extra power and CPU. As you can see, I used a little bit. Whoops. Um, Alright, so anyways, we have I've shown you how to do the links. Now, 